Hi guys, welcome to Linksai YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to manage remote windows host using Ansible. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points which is what is Ansible automation and its use cases. Ansible is the simplest way to automate apps and IT infrastructure. It is easy to set up and no agent is required to be installed on remote nodes. Instead, Ansible use passwordless SSH authentication to manage remote Unix and Linux host. In this demo, we are going to learn how to set up our first window node to be managed with the Ansible and see how to run the commands and playbook against it. So let's do the lab session and we'll see how to make complete setup from scratch. If we talk about the pre-request, we required minimum two VM, one VM with Linux box and another VM with Windows operating system. So let's do the lab session. So uh, on the first part, we will configure Linux machine as a control node. And in the second part, I will configure Windows machine as a manage host. So move to the first machine. Guys, this is my first VM, as you can see here. And this is my Linux terminal. Let me show you the OS release version of this machine first. So let me go with cat, cat, etc, Red Hat release. So guys, you can currently see currently I'm using rel 9.0. First step is to install Ansible package with the latest Python version. At least minimum version 2.8 or higher should be there for this demo. So I'm going to install yum install ansible ansible core. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's available with Python 3. Press Y. So local yum repository should be pre-configured. And one uh, important point I want to share with all of you, Ansible core is the by default pre-available with the rel 9 ISO images. So it's, it will take few minutes and install the packages with the latest Python ver version. Okay, very fine, complete. So it's successfully installed. Let's check the version of Ansible and Python following by this command. So Ansible hyphen hyphen version. So you can see Ansible is, <coughs> uh, core is installed with 2.9, 2.12 and Python version is 3.9, right? Here is the version is clearly mentioned. You can see that, right? Now, move to the next step, which is install PY WinRM Python module. The PY WinRM Python module is required for Ansible on Windows to communicate to host via WinRM protocol. So I'll go with pip install, or you can go with pip3, PYWINRM. Okay, downloading. Done. Now, in order to management of Windows host, we required ansible.windows contain collection. Ansible collections is a distribution format of Ansible contain. We can install these plugin using Ansible Galaxy command. So I'll go with the Ansible Galaxy, say C O L L E C T I U N collection, then install what ansible.windows. Okay. Ansible Galaxy, starting Galaxy. Collection install process. It will take few of minute. Downloading. Yep. Yep. You can see ansible.windows 1.13.0 was successfully installed. Right. Now move to the next step, which is create or update Ansible host inventory file. Before you can connect to the remote machine with Ansible, you need to let Ansible know about this machine. So usually you need to add this machine to any host group. In my case, I'm using host group name as win. So you can go with anyone. I'm creating a directory first, windows, or go with win. And here, for time saving purpose, I have write down the inventory file. Let me copy it, and then I will explain the content of there, right? So tamp i have over inventory file paste it here cat inventory now so you can take the first of all we can go with the group name this is the windows group name i'm giving the name it could be anything and then i have to mention the windows host ip right so you can keep the ip or host name whichever uh, whichever is reachable from your ansible control machine additionally since this is the windows we need to provide some more variables at the host group level and my group level is wins so i am using the few more important variable let me explain one by one so first of all i'm talking about ansible underscore user that is the name so whatever the username you have to create it in the windows machine here i'm using name ram which i will create later on windows machine then i'm using ansible underscore password and win at that one two three right the password for that user the same one you use for the rdp then i'm using ansible connection 
Ansible underscore connection means win RM to define the connection is not SSH, it should be win RM. Then I mentioned Ansible underscore win RM underscore transport is equal to basic means when connecting to the Windows host, there are several different options that can be used to uh, when authenticating with an account. Basic authentication is the one of the simplest authentication option to use. Otherwise, you can also go with the certificate or capbros based authentication mechanism, right? And last one, I'm using Ansible WinRM server certification validation is equal to ignore. That means I'm telling Ansible to ignore host key or server certification validation. Now I have already saved this file in my custom directory where I have, I would create my playbooks and name this as a inventory file. You can go with any file name. It's not a big deal. But here I have mentioned the inventory, right? This is to keep things isolated and neat and clean. So you can directly add in the Ansible global, even you can directly add in, in the Ansible global inventory file if you want, which one is the etc, Ansible or host. You can go with this one also. So all pre requirement is successfully done from the Linux box. Now move to the second part. Second part is configure the Windows host part, right? So I'll move to the second machine. Guys, this is a Windows 10. Let me log in here. Yep. And uh, in this demo, I'm going to configure our Windows 10 remote host to connect with the Ansible control node. We are going to install WinRM listener, short for Windows remote, which will allow the connection between the Windows host and the Ansible server. So guys, this is my Windows 10 and I will configure this machine as a managed host. But before we do so, your Windows host needs to be fulfilled few requirements for the installation to be successful. Uh, your Windows host should be Windows 7 or later. For server, ensure that you are using Windows Server 2008 or latest version. Ensure that you have system is running .NET Framework 4.0 or later. Windows PowerShell should be version 3.0 and later. With all the requirement met, now we can follow the few simple steps and we can configure this machine as a management node. In Windows 10, by default, .NET Framework and Power version, PowerShell version is already installed, so no need to do anything. We can just directly go with the uh, IP configuration part. So let me check the IP address for the first mesh, first mesh from this machine. So let me log in with DOS, uh, CMD prompt, and I mentioned IP config to check the IP. So you can see that the current IP is 111.135, right? So let me uh, modify this IP in my inventory file. So I back on my server and I'm going to open that one more time and modify the IP here. So remove that line, I just mentioned 192.168.111.135. Let it be checking the pin connectivity first, 192.168.111.135. Yes, it's reachable, okay. So now, go to the next part. I am back on my Windows machine, right? And uh, uh, the second part is that, now we have to create a user, which is uh, which is the name is user RAM I'm using over there and provide the admin access, right? So I'll go with the, my computer icon right click go to the manage and following the simple steps you can create a n number of methods are available to create a user in windows so local user user right click new user give the ram password is win at the 823 win at the 823 uh, password never expire say create and close now you can see ram is successfully created right click go to the property go to the member of add and advance and here find out and make an administrative group member right so okay okay apply and okay yeah now refresh everything is good go back so um, here I have successfully created the user that is RAM and the, set the password whatever the password I have mentioned in my playbook that is uh, sorry in my inventory that is win at the rate one to three right now Move to the next part, which is download the WinRM script on Windows 10. So we have to thanks to Ansible team that they have created a PowerShell script that does the required configuration on the Windows machine for us. WinRM can be installed using a script that we can download from the GitHub URL, copy the entire script and paste it into the one notepad editor. Thereafter, ensure you have saved this WinRM script at the most convenient location. In my case, I have saved that file on C drive under the name configure remoting for ansible.ps1. At the end of this demo, I will share the URL to uh, in the under my description. You can grab it directly from there, right? So let me show the file location and contains. So I have already downloaded, I told you, I'll go to the my C drive and here you will find out configure remoting for Ansible. So if I open it, let's see what is there here. So configure a Windows host for the remote management with the Ansible. The script checks the current WinRM configuration and make the necessary changes to allow Ansible to connect and authenticate and execute PowerShell commands. So that is a very important script and it's already provided by the Ansible team. So we have to thanks for this one. So just close that one and make it save in a proper 
location so that you can easily execute that one right so now move to the next step which is run this vrm win rm script on windows host for this one we need to run powershell as administrator right so i'll, I'll exit from here i exit from command prompt also scroll down here and just type here powershell so once you type powershell here's the windows powershell right click right click in this one and run as administrator okay are you sure yes i am here it is so now let me go with the c drive where i have already in uh, my script file and navigate to that script location see there's the location configure remote for ansible file in this file in this we have navigate the c drive location where we have the script and proceed the simple ex execute the script like like this config press enter it will take some little bit of time and if everything is fine the output shown that winarm has been successfully installed right now both part done successfully let's move to the next step which is connecting to the windows host from the control node right so ansible ping is to check the connection from control machine to the remote linux machine likewise ansible win underscore ping is to check the connectivity from the control machine to the windows host so i am back here on my server and i am run the simple command ansible win that means my group name and hyphen m hyphen m say win underscore ping hyphen i and the inventory location so here uh, here the win is our host group name and with hyphen m we are telling ansible to use win ping module okay press enter let's see what happened i should get the response ping pong let me check yep this output shows that we have in, indeed established a connection to the remote windows 10 host from the ansible control node this implies that we can now manage the remote windows host using ansible playbook so let's create a simple playbook and sample playbook for the windows host system so before going to do that let me show on the c drive if i exit from here and if i open the my computer under the c drive here there is a no folder named test am i right till now it is not there so if i refresh that one i will create that folder automatically by using this ansible playbook so in the in the last final step i am going to create a running a playbook for windows 10 host in this final section i will create uh, uh, i have already done the playbook uh, it is already in my time folder so let me copy from there and paste it here and then i'll to explain so i'll go cp tam directory.yml file paste it here and if i open the directory.yml file you can see it's very simple yml file right uh, i have mentioned host uh, go with the wins host and tax run executable using window command so win underscore command what does it mean win underscore command module execute the commands on windows remote store so here i am using win underscore command module to make a directory named test under c that so let's run this playbook and check the output how you can run the playbook ansible playbook and directory.yml and hyphen i your inventory file so play gathering facts let's see just wait for a couple of minutes let it be executed or deployed yep task done run executable using yep change successfully so the output is point out that all went well let's check on the windows c drive so if i go back on the windows c drive till now yeah here it is so you can see that test directory successfully created right so guys this is how we can manage remote host using ansible control node and finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till that keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye